in today's session i would like to start new topic that is related with the parson turbine and this topic is condition for the maximum efficiency of parson turbine clear to all so now let's begin our today's session and before starting our today's session just recall my previous statement in order to understand this lecture thoroughly it should require to have some knowledge of velocity triangle i mean to say you need to keep velocity triangle in your mind okay and based on velocity triangle here we are going to derive some of the mathematical correlations tip okay that indicate the condition which we require to maintain in order to achieve maximum efficiency for the parson turbine so let's start our today's session condition for maximum efficiency of parson turbine okay before going to the derivation of condition for the maximum efficiency of parson turbine let's simply define efficiency what do you mean by efficiency yes you are right efficiency is equal to output by input now what do you mean by output okay so here you can say the work obtained from the turbine is output and what is input in this case the kinetic energy supply or you can say energy supply to this stage is our input so we know that as a output we obtain the work done from the turbine okay and equation of turbine work done is equal to you can say tbl multiply by c w1 plus cw0 okay like this that we have derived already in our third year fourth lecture now to derive the condition for the maximum efficiency we need to simplify this equation in order to reduce the number of variable that have directly affect the efficiency so to do so here we can say the cw1 is equal to you can write c1 cos alpha 1 just look triangle c w1 is equal to c1 cos alpha 1 and c w o is equal to you can write c r o cos 5 minus c b l you can write this kind of expression just look triangle and recall mathematics you will get idea okay and again for the parson turbine you know very well that the inlet velocity of steam is equivalent to, is equivalent to the relative velocity at outlet i mean to say cro is equal to c1 okay and phi is equal to alpha and theta is equal to beta so here you need to replace phi with alpha so you will get expression like cbl into the bracket 2 time cos alpha minus cbl okay you get this type of expression just from the simplification now you need to multiply cbl inside the bracket and c1 square you need to multiply with whole term so you will get this type of expression i have multiplied cbl inside the bracket then i have again multiplied the complete term with c1 square so i need to divide complete term with c1 square here like this okay it's pure primary school level mathematical simplification okay now here you can say the c1 is getting cancelled inside the bracket the term that is c 2 times cbl multiplied by c1 cos alpha divided by c1 square so c1 c1 gets getting cancelled and once you simplify this equation you will get this type of expression w is equal to c1 square into the bracket 2 rho cos alpha minus rho square now what do you mean by rho is equal my previous session rho means it is the ratio of cbl 
divided by C1. This ratio is known as rho. Okay, we have already talked regarding this in our previous session. So here you need to replace CBL divided by CL with rho. So you will get W is equal to C1 square multiplied by 2 times rho cos alpha minus rho square. So here we have equation of work done in which you can notice the work done for a given blade the work done is proportional to the c1 sorry c1 and cbl you can say like this okay this, so here we have reduced the sum of the variables now let's consider input as a input we are supplying kinetic energy to the turbine okay i mean to say kinetic energy to the fixed blade as well as moving blade so the kinetic energy that we are supplying to the fixed blade is nothing but the C1 square divided by 2G where mass is equal to be 1. In this equation we assume mass to be unit. Okay. So kinetic energy supplied to the fixed blade is C1 square divided by 2G. Similar way the kinetic energy that we are supplying to the moving blade is CRO square minus CR1 square divided by 2. Okay. And uh, total energy supplied that is delta F is equal to the summation of both C1 square plus 2 plus CRO square minus CR1 square divided by 2. But we know that the CRO is equal to be C1 for the partial turbine because of the symmetry city. So here we can write delta F that is total energy supplied to the blade is equal to C1 square divided by 2 plus c1 square minus cr1 square divided by 2. So once you simplify this equation you will get c1 square minus cr1 square divided by 2 like this. Now in this equation again we need to reduce the number of parameter that directly affect the blade efficiency. So we need to simplify cr1 here. So consider the triangle you can write the CR1 square is equal to be C1 square plus CBL square minus 2 times CBL C1 cos alpha. Okay. Now put the value of CR1 square in an equation of enthalpy. So you will get enthalpy is equal, is, is equal to C1 square minus into the bracket C1 square plus CBL square minus 2 times C1 CBL cos alpha divided by 2. Again you simplify this equation. So you will get this type of expression that is C1 square plus 2 times C1 CBL cos alpha minus CBL square divided by 2. Okay, clear. Just you need to simplify the equation. Now you need to take out C1 square by 2 as a common. So you will get this type of expression for the delta H. Delta H is equal to C1 square divided by 2 into bracket 1 plus 2 times CBL divided by c1 cos alpha minus cbl square divided by c1 square this type of expression okay and again rho is equal to be cbl divided by c1 so replace cbl divided by c1 with rho so you will get this type of expression for the delta h delta h is equal to be c1 square divided by 2 into bracket 1 plus 2 rho cos alpha minus rho square now efficiency is equal to we know work done divided by delta H. So just put the equation of work done as well as delta H that we have derived. Okay. So you will get this type of expression okay, for the efficiency. Now in this expression C1, C1 is getting cancelled. So the efficiency is equal to 2 times into bracket 2 rho cos alpha minus rho square divided by 1 plus 2 times rho cos alpha minus rho square okay this type of expression now in this equation you notice that the efficiency is dependent on number of parameters so again we reduce the number of parameter by doing simplification so just simplify this equation you will get this type of expression okay take out rho as a common i mean to say from the numerator so you will get this type of expression further simplify this equation Okay, you will get this type of expression. Okay, it is all about the simplification. Just go through each step very carefully. Okay. So once you simplified the relationship, 
you will get efficiency is equal to 2 minus 2 divided by 1 plus 2 rho cos alpha minus rho theta. Now, this is the expression in which you can say the efficiency is dependent only on the factor that is rho. For a given blade, huh? keep one thing in your mind. For the given blade, efficiency is dependent on only rho. So, to identify the condition for the maximum blade efficiency, we need to differentiate this equation with respect to rho. So, try to differentiate this equation. And equate it to 0. So, after the differentiation, you will get condition that is rho is equal to cos alpha. So, to obtain the maximum blade efficiency, the ratio of blade speed to the steam velocity is equivalent to the cos alpha. I mean to say CBL divided by C1 is equal to cos alpha. Okay, this is the condition for the maximum blade efficiency and if you put this condition in equation of efficiency okay, that we have derived that the efficiency is equal to 2 minus 2 divided by 1 plus 2 rho cos alpha minus rho square you will get the maximum efficiency is equal to 2 cos square alpha divided by 1 plus cos square alpha. Okay. So, it is all about the maximum efficiency and the condition for the maximum efficiency. So, in our today's session, we have derived the condition for the maximum blade efficiency and we have derived the equation for the maximum blade efficiency. That is 2 rows 2 cos square alpha divided by 1 plus cos square alpha. Are you clear to all? So, it is all about the today's session. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.